Today, we're gonna to talk about why you should jump into tech right now and earn that life-changing money. As I sit here today, I've never seen the tech market hotter than it is right now. So if you know how to code, quit watching YouTube and start applying today. There are more jobs than ever been and the salaries are higher than they've ever been. The salaries for devs have gone through the roof. Now, if you don't know how to code, you need to start learning to code right now to grab onto the hottest tech market ever and to make that salary of your dreams. So you're probably thinking to yourself, of course you think everyone should learn how to code, Bobby. You own a coding boot camp. Don't you have a little bit of conflict of interest? And what I would say is I've been coding and doing this for a long time and I've never seen a tech market as hot as this one. And it's been a while, I might add. And so on the consulting side, we're seeing the increase for us for demand for consultants has doubled in the last 12 months. We're also seeing lots of companies calling into Coder Foundry now and saying, hey, we have five, 10, six, and sometimes even 30 open positions. Can we interview the entire cohort? And these types of requests in the volume that they're coming in has never been seen before in all the years that I've been working as a consultant or teaching at the boot camp here. The other thing that's going on here is salaries have risen a lot over the last 12 months. And that means the seniors and the architects are increasingly making more and more money and they're up here in the pay range. And that means companies are also going to look for other talent, maybe a junior or one to two year, and they're more open to those because they can fill out their talent shortage with a lower price talent. And that means opportunities for you, but it's not peanuts. What we're seeing here is salaries have gone from maybe in North Carolina from 55,000 for someone exiting our boot camp to now close to 70,000 or even above 70,000 in your first software job. And I'm sure that's even better in um, areas like California or New York or Austin and the, and the Texas area. And so that means salaries on the rise for juniors, mids, seniors, and everybody is making more money. So I don't want you to take my word on it. Forbes recently pushed out an article by the company called Hired, which has a very large um, influx of hiring top end talent, their search engine owned by Deco Group. They had a lot of very interesting things that, um, that you should know about. Number one, the top job that they're looking for right now is still to this day, and we've been saying this for a long time, is full stack engineer. That is the most in-demand job, period, of any job out there. That's the most in-demand job is full stack um, engineer. Now, if you're going for the money, the top paying job was security engineer. So if you're not into web development, you want to go into something else that's high paying, um, security engineer was paying the most. But I would say that when you really dive deep out to the study, if you're a full stack engineer at the top of your game, you make very a lot of money very close to what a top end security engineer is. Just that on the average security engineers are making more than all the other full stack engineers. But the thing that I want to caution you on is this. I want you to pay attention, especially if you're breaking in, is to the word the most in demand. The most in demand is different than the highest paid. The highest paid means that there may not be as many jobs in security engineers, but the ones that have them, the ones that are at the top of the game are making the most money. The most in demand is full stack engineer. And I think that's where, if you're trying to break in for the very first time, that's where you need to focus on. You need to focus on where the most jobs are. Now, the other thing that we've noticed a lot is that remote positions have increased globally. And then if you are a remote worker, salaries in the last 12 months have gone up between anywhere between seven and 14%, according to the Forbes article. And this means great opportunities for you as a first time software engineer. All right, so you're probably thinking, hey, Bobby, you sold me on, I wanna break into tech, but how do I do that this year? Going to a CS could take four years or longer to get that CS degree. And so the other interesting thing about this study is for the first time, we've seen this dramatic increase in software engineers looking to boot camps or non-traditional ways for them to learn how to code. We've also seen an, an, a, a definite increase in the amount of companies that are making queries into Coder Foundry saying, hey, do you have anyone? Is there anyone that you have that could fill this position that we're looking for? And that means that boot camps or self-learning or the non-traditional ways are increasingly seen as, hey, this is the way you learn to code. And what this means to you is that you can do this in a compressed time frame, either self-learning or going to a reputable boot camp. 
and get that software job of your dreams. Hey, if you're watching this video and you've read the Forbes article and you want to break into coding, we would be honored to be your teacher, your coach, your mentor to teach you how to code to get that first software job. Go to learn.coderfounder.com. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.